Welcome back to the channel. You may have noticed the channel name is changed um, from Little Orange Productions. And uh, the reason behind that was, well, I mean, I could keep posting as Little Orange Productions, but I kind of feel like it's uh, going to be kind of hard to grow under that name at all because I like completely ghosted on that channel for like over a year, I believe, maybe. I'm not sure. But anyway, starting back up again, doing crazy backwards vlogging stuff. Anyway, yes, welcome to the channel, guys. Today, from the title of the video, you can probably tell, I am working on building, finishing, maybe not completely finishing. We'll see how far I can get. At the moment, I don't have all the uh, stuff completely ready. But working on my homemade camper trailer, tiny box trailer. It's like four by eight by four, but tall. So it's basically just one of those teardrop shaped trailers, but it's not teardrop actually. Hang on, let me set this blank hitch down. Um, so anyway, I got the camera in the wrong hand. But anyway, so uh, yeah, it's basically like I built this box. Okay, so here's, this is my truck. This is Scotty because it's the Chevrolet Scottsdale. It's 92. That's uh, the truck and I, I built, this camper box is what I'm calling it to specifically fit on the back of that truck behind or like in between the two toolboxes because I got a homemade flatbed on it and I got toolboxes on the side so I wanted this thing to fit in between them and just be an entire camper on that truck and it was gonna be great it's gonna turn into like a little camper like thing and it was gonna be really cool and it did it worked it went in the truck but in building this thing which I built this little box out of like used um used materials so it was like insanely cheap like the most expensive part was probably the screws the main framing i put together out of uh like wood that we literally got for free that a uh, wood mill was throwing out so and then the bottom is like pallets so um but i built it to go in the back of the truck the only problem with that is in building this i built it strong and by building it strong using metal on it it got really heavy, and I was kind of looking for something because I don't want to make render my truck completely useless for anything else. So, with that box in the back, sure I can put stuff in the box, but it it kind of defeats the pickup truck part of it. And so I wanted it easy to get in and out, but that kind of failed at that because it's so stinking heavy. Um, and such a pain to get in and out. It took my dad and I both like together a whole long time to get it out and like put on these pallets. And here's the actual thing. It's not very pretty. Um, I'm probably going to paint it to uh, color match it with the trailer. Like I'm probably gonna be t putting, painting the trailer, I'm putting it on black, the frame, and then this maybe tan or something like that. I don't know, I've seen ones like that. But I may be painting it in the future, you'll see. But it is just a box. The back opens up in a door. I'm gonna have a little bed in there, maybe a little storage. I don't know, it's gonna be a little camper. Um, basically, a strong, secure tent that goes on a trailer. But, yeah, so it was very, very difficult to get on and off the truck, and I was like, you know what, I can't be doing this all the time, getting this box on and off the back of my truck um, by myself. I'm not gonna be able to do it, and I don't wanna have it on the truck all the time, because it's gonna defeat the truck's purpose. But also really hurt the miles per gallon, and that's one of the big things about that truck. It's got a uh, special diesel engine that gets really good fuel economy. And with this giant box on the back, it's really gonna uh, not make that as good. You know, got to think about the aerodynamics. But anyway, so that is why um, I'm working on this. I'm gonna just put it on its own trailer. It can be pulled by anything, and it won't be taking up the entire truck. And this thing is completely homemade. Started from the base with two pallets on the ground, put a thick plywood floor on it. Then I just built up the side with framing and uh, it's got metal that wraps around it. So uh, it is, well, it's, it's rocking on the pallets that it's sitting on right now, but it's solid. It is solid. And uh, yeah, so gonna be working on uh, getting that boat trailer. It's a little uh, tiny boat trailer, literally perfect size up here. And that's what I'm gonna be working on today. So uh, yeah, you guys are gonna move with me? Actually, well, actually, here, I'll show you the box. Yeah, nothing pretty, nothing pretty at all. Not matching metal by any means, but may paint it. We will see. Um, may put a tarp over it on the trailer to also give it a canopy, like an awning. 
Um, but that's all option. We'll see what looks best. So right now I'm gonna go take the Jeep. Oh, where's the, there it is. I cannot see the screen. Like I'm wearing these sunglasses. I can't see the screen. There it is. Now I'm gonna be taking the Jeep down. We're gonna have the trailer. It's down there a ways, at the bottom of the hill. So we're grabbing it, bringing the trailer up here, and probably putting the box on the trailer today. So that's exciting. Hey guys, here we go. I heard a goat scratching on the Jeep. I want to make sure there's no goats under me. Okay, good. No goats. No goats. We're good to go. Off to go get the trailer. Here we go. Not that far of a drive at all. Literally just like right down there, but I just don't want to pull it by hand. I will say, I didn't I didn't say anything about this on the, on the channel yet, but this thing... <laughs> I've been driving around the property for a while with, like, with a bad brake booster, and I will say, okay, I'm, I kind of want to get in here. Let's go this way, back in. I will say, it is like a whole new vehicle with the brake booster replaced. I got a new one a while back and put it on, and it is like completely. I'd forgotten what it was like. It just like brand new, totally different vehicle. When I got this Jeep, the, the brake booster was fine. Um, it went out a while back, honestly. Um, but, yeah, so. Is that about good there? Let me see. I don't got anybody back me in right now. Let's not drop the camera in the mud. Gotta come back a little bit more. Here's the trailer. It's stuck in the mud right now. Needs a new paint job. Excuse the bad angle, but that's the only place the camera will stay. We got it hooked up. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna see. Pull it out of the mud here. Yep. Yeah, it's just an old boat trailer um, that we kinda, we put a rack on it at one point to, like, turn it into a kayak trailer and pull kayaks around on it. And we take it on float trips and stuff. Um, perfect little trailer for that, but it's just been sitting in the woods so long, literally a tree had grown up through it. So, yeah, um, I'm taking it, I'm gonna paint it, and put my box on it, because it's like the perfect dimensions. It's like exactly just over four foot wide. Um, I'm gonna have to modify it a little bit, cut uh, some braces that are on the fingers to make the box fit, but that just takes a little bit of sawzall, and they're not. Um, Back this one up to it, to the box area. All right. I can hook up the battery charger to the Jeep. It cranked a little bit slow starting up. But yeah, so I'm either thinking about, oh, you can't even see me. I'm either uh, thinking about putting a tarp over the box that's on the trailer and make it where the tarp can fold up and have an awning over it and make a nice little cooking area for the camper thing. Um, either that or I'm gonna paint the box and I'm not really sure what color to paint it yet. So, at the moment, I'm just going to get on the trailer and uh, see what I do. Next from there, need to do a little bit more work on the box door. It needs to seal better. It's like just hinges on a homemade wood to wood door. It doesn't seal very well. So, I need to, uh, I got some foam stuff that I'm going to be able to go around the outside so it'll have a seal that it closes to. Hopefully, keep some of the mosquitoes out. Put that on the trailer pretty soon. Uh, I will need my dad's help though. This thing is heavy. First things first, I'm gonna get the saws on. I'm gonna cut those, uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna cut those uh, support braces off. Anyway, so here's the trailer. Basically, oh wait, you can't see it. There it is. Little uh, boat trailer frame thing. I don't need these. On. I can't see the camera screen when I'm doing that. So, yeah, so, pretty cool little thing. It is literally perfect. It's, it's lightweight, it is. Um, but it's the perfect thing because that thing's probably lighter than the boat that was on it. So, it'll be absolutely perfect. And what I'm having to cut here in a minute is Domino's barking. Dog, come on, right away. You get him, Domino. Um, this is what I'm gonna have to cut because, like, see. From that pipe to that pipe over there is not four foot wide. 
but like here is where these things are. So I'm gonna have to uh, possibly cut here and bend these down. They're just the fender supports, so we still got these here. And if I need to later, I can put on other supports, but I highly doubt will need it for just light fenders. Um, another cool thing, I'm gonna put slats on the bottom of that thing that will line up with these rollers. So as you can tell, this thing has been sitting a while. It's it's uh it's uh, I seen the other days. I need to put new tires on it, but it's actually in really good structural condition. So it's great. It actually has been reinforced. You can tell. Um, there's been some welding done on it, which is pretty nice. So that's gonna be another cool thing. If we ever need to get the box off of here, pretty quick, I'll have slats of wood will run along the base of the box and we'll go on those. And so just like the boat that was on here before it. You can literally just press the lever. Pull up the leather lever, it locks in. Lift up the front of the box or drag it up, drive out from under it, we'll roll, set down, and you'll have your trailer back. So it'll be pretty neat. Um, it won't be a forever taking out the trailer kind of thing. I, mean, I don't think we have much of another need for this trailer. 